Hello Lilas, welcome back to my channel. Guys, if you're not subscribed to this channel, go ahead and smash that subscribe button. Don't forget to join the chat box. The link is in the description bar. Um, it is $1.99 to join. Also, you do have to be 18 years old or older to join. Now, today I am going to change baby Sasha. Um, and I don't know if you guys can see. Let's see. She got her earrings in. Let's see. Uh, I don't know. But you'll see in pictures later. But I don't want to move the camera too much. Because I pretty much got it where you guys can see her fully. But she's going to get changed. I'm going to put her on an undershirt. And I'm going to try on this little sweatsuit thingy. Um, ooh, I didn't get her any change of socks. But anyway... Um, Sasha is the Gabby Gill Asleep by Claire Teller. Um, she is painted by me. She'll be soon getting hair. Um, but I just wanted to spend time with her in, before she leaves. She's my personal baby. And I tell you, guys, I love this sculpt so much, apparently. Because I've painted about 16, 17. I don't know how many now at this point. But the one thing about me is that... I do like my babies rooted just like everybody else. Uh, I'm not really a painted hair person, but a really nicely painted hair baby. I definitely um, can fall in love with. Um, but I have learned to enjoy my babies even when they're bald. Because a lot of times I send out the babies to be rooted, the vinyl um, the ones that are going to be sold before I do my personal babies. So my personal babies tend to be, um, ball for a long time. And it's, uh, yeah. So I've gotten to a point where I'm just like, okay, I'm just going to make them with cute hats and stuff like that. But she got, like I said, she got her little ears pierced. So it's just really, she's really cute. She got on her love earrings. Um, her earrings that says love. Let me see if you guys can see them. I don't know if you guys can see them. No, you really can't. But that's okay. I'm not going to worry. That's not that important. But it's really cute. She's really cute with her earrings. And I usually don't pierce their ears before they go for rooting. But um, I decided I'd do that since she's going to be home with me for a few months. So, well, not a few months, but a few weeks. So, anyway... Um, yeah, so I do a lot of hats with my babies when they're bald, girl and boy. And you really can make them look just as cute. Um, so that's why, like, I do, I do normally offer ball babies because I know it's other mommies out there that, um, don't mind a ball baby or they'll get it bald and have it rooted at a later date type thing. Um, but for me, eventually the goal will be to get them rooted. Other than like Lily Grace, I just don't know. I just, I love Lily Grace so much. Just the way she is. I love her bald head and it's like, I don't know. I just, I don't know. I, don't know. <laughs> I think, um, she may be bald. I, she might be one baby that I keep bald. Like I said, if I do, she'll be very finely rooted. So I've already picked out the hairstyle for her, hair color out for her, and everything. Um, I've been holding on to this kit. I've had these, my Gabigail kits for about a year now, um, just waiting. And so, um, yeah, I have some kits. I have a lot of kits here. And I was on Facebook Live yesterday and... I actually did take some, um, I won't say order orders, but orders <laughs> for Gabby Gill, the Gabby Gills. I told some of my dolly sis that, you know, I will paint, paint them and give them, and I usually don't do that, but I, I'm giving them, um, basically we have a verbal agreement, but they're not um obligated it's like a first 
first right of refusal within 24 hours type thing. Um, but I don't do that often. It's just the individuals that contacted me. I'm very familiar with them in the community and it's like, okay. Cause I'm so, I have so many orders that I have to complete first. I don't want no one waiting. I don't want to hold nobody money type thing. So yeah, this baby looks, she, I love her so much. I love her actually ball. So here's something really funny that I learned about when I waited her. Now granted, I waited her out of, with desperation, not having the actual, um, enough beads to weight her cloth part. But what I learned is the way that I weighted it with the, the way I stuffed her with the polyfill, I actually like it and I don't know, like I probably won't add, change it. I probably will just take her head off. I will probably weight her head later, um, but I, I probably won't do that, change anything. I probably just take her and, you know, have her root it. Now, again, it is, <laughs> it's so funny. Oh my gosh, like I love her so much. Like, I had, I don't know if you guys remember, but I had a, a baby named Lil Daryl, and he was a drooler, remember? He was a Gabby Gill. He was kind of in this skin tone range, and I really loved him. But again, like I said, she has a lot more um, details in her. Like she has broken capillaries and um, veining and mottling and all that jazz going on. And so I just really, really, really fell in love with her. And I, I, I don't know. I'm just, I'm just a sucker for the sleepers. Um, I like the awake, but I am a sleeper girl, so I just I I just really love the sleepers. So it's like my my favorite 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 babies. So I'm gonna put her in this. Oh my god, I just want to pick her up and kiss her. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love her so much. I actually. Um, bought some uh, clothes secondhand for my babies the other week or so and they came and they smell so good now I, I feel like I need to wash all my baby clothes in the same stuff and um, or the cloth bodies I mean like hand wash the cloth bodies in that same um, stuff so that my babies have that that smell on them because I just love the way the uh the smell is. She doesn't have it on her, but she has uh the powder wafers in her. And so she does still smell really good. Where are your pants, little girl? Oh my gosh. <laughs> She's just so sweet. Like, oh my gosh. Yeah, she's so cute. Now, this is actually, hands down, the closest color, I think, to my firstborn real daughter. Um, when she was about maybe three months or so, this the coloring on her is like, so much like her color. I don't know, was her legs a little bit lighter? I don't know. No, because my oldest daughter, her legs always look like she has a tan. And so yeah, her legs are like this. It's crazy because I, this is the, one of the very few babies that I didn't use inspiration pictures to paint. And look what happened. And that's why I think we paint what's familiar to us and what's, you know, embedded in our head because look, look what happened. She came out just like my first, my first born daughter. Like now my, my first born daughter was first born, like newborn number one. She was way lighter than this, of course. But, you know, after a couple weeks home and stuff and she started to get a little color. She was about this color. She's still light like this though, as an adult. 
She's 25 now though. <laughs> it's funny how the, the, the images of them stay in your head years and years and they get grown and they're still in your mind. That little baby girl, oh my God. Her daycare provider used to call her Strawberry. <laughs> my um, They used to always think that she was biracial and um, because her daycare provider, I think she had biracial children and I don't know, she said my daughter reminded her of her kids and so she fell in love with her and she named her, not named her, nicknamed her um, Strawberry and she used to like buy her all kinds of stuff. It was crazy. Um, she wanted to keep her like babysit her and stuff, but I was a very overprotective mom, so that didn't really transpire. But yeah, and she used to be asking me all the time, like, is she biracial? I'm like, no, not that I know of, but you know, I could have been sleeping really hard and maybe it was a little, you know, redhead white man in my bed. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> um, but yeah, so anyway. That is baby Sasha. So I hope you guys really are in, really not getting tired of her. Um, I know I'm posting a lot of pictures of her on Instagram and Facebook and, you know, just sharing a lot of videos of her. But I don't know. Right now, I just want to take the time and individually just appreciate my, my babies that I have. Like, I rarely get any downtime and this is like when I do my videos and you know sometime in between like if babies are occurring or um you know I'm working from home and you know I get a, a, a slow period that's about the only little downtime I get and I go and eat and then I come right back it's like you know it's so, when I get a little bit of time, this is what I like to do. But yeah, she fits that really good. I didn't, um, I don't know what size it is, but yeah, I didn't, I was thinking the pants might have been too short, but they're not. So, anyway, I know a lot of people make the Gabigales look like toddlers. Uh oh. <laughs> I know, no, the Gabigales, they, a lot of people make the Gabigales look like toddlers, but they are still really baby, baby. Um, so, um, that's kind of how I want to go with mine. And like I said, I, I have gotten to the point where I used to be like, you know, oh my God, that's not realistic, blah, 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 blah. I've gotten to the point where it's like, let people do what they love. It, Cause you know, some of the mommies that I've talked to, um, recently or heard them, you know, or their posts and stuff, they're like, they love like styling hair and stuff. So since they love styling hair, every baby they get, they want to have like a whole bunch of hair and they don't care if it's not age appropriate or not because they want to be able to style hair. And for the price of these babies, hell, if you want, you know, do a whole install, you know, 18 inch down to the baby feet, hey, I say go for it because what they cost, get what you want, you know. Um, me personally, I won't do that, um, and I won't even, honestly, I won't even do it. That's why I'm very picky about what type of customs I do. I won't even do it as a custom. I won't, I won't put that much, because I don't want my name, well, never mind, anyway. Um, I want my style, let me say it worded like that. I want my work to represent my style. Now, if I sell it as a ball baby, and you decide to get it slayed and laid, and have long long hair that's on you but if I complete the doll from my nursery and it leaves here I'm gonna do it with you know what I feel is age appropriate but I love my TT love these the babies I love them I'd be like going crazy over their photos mommies be having their little hair done all up and real cute so I'm good. I'm good on that too. It's just like, I'm going to let you live, let me live type thing. So we kind of respect our boundaries there. And I think that's where, you know, 
the community began to be great when we start respecting our boundaries and let other people live. Let them have their collection how they want it and let me have mine the way I want it type thing. Y'all got that? All right. If y'all got that, y'all the GOAT. 